What's going on everybody? Kyle here back again with another video and today we got a little figure reveal from Marvel Legends of Kingpin in the uh, Marvel throwback retro collection of Spider-Man the animated series. You know early 90s Spider-Man animated series, X-Men animated series, I was all in on a Saturday morning like probably a lot of you guys as well. But uh, they were releasing the Kingpin. Now, if you guys remember, Kingpin was part of the Build-A-Figure line. Oh, year, year and a half ago that came out, which uh, very tough to get piece. Uh, you know, obviously, as a lot of Build-A-Figures are, very pricey with uh, Kingpin going for well over $100 on eBay. So check eBay today. I guarantee those are dropping like a, you know, sinking like a ship, uh, the prices on those, unfortunately. However, you know, they are changing these up a little bit, uh, making it not a total re-release, but they're going to have a little bit of difference uh, to them. Um, the new Kingpin has a little ascot instead of a, a tie like the Build-A-Figure edition. Uh, a little ascot, and it's actually cartoon, or not cartoon, but comic book accurate. Uh, at least of what I've seen dug up today. I'll throw a picture up here as well for you guys to see, but it's more comic book accurate compared to cartoon accurate. Um, I'm glad they made a little bit of difference, a little point of difference in there. It goes a long way for us collectors that spent money. As you can see, I bought two Build-A-Figure Kingpins back in the day because I wanted to make the Shadow King. If you guys remember, the Professor X uh, Marvel Legends figure came with the Shadow King head, uh, and I used the Caliban uh, hand, so I had to buy extra figures to piece this guy together. Uh, you know, a lot of work. You can see this guy up close there, the Shadow King head, Caliban hands, Makes an awesome X-Men villain of the Shadow King. Um, and then you got the traditional Kingpin Build-A-Figure with the uh, scepter with the jewel on it. You know, it's the uh, black shirt, purple tie. Um, a lot of people, we all knew this release was coming. There was a lot of rumors of uh, the Build-A-Figure being released on a single card. Uh, you're looking at a $30 price point, which isn't terrible. Definitely better than the hundred and some dollars you got to pay if you're buying the whole wave to put together. Um, but a lot of people are fairly upset about this. I don't mind it too much. Uh, I'm not a guy that's buying this for, you know, going to retire off of these or anything like that. Uh, it kind of is what it is. And it gives people that didn't get it a second chance. And now I'm going to have three kingpins in my army. Um, I do like that they added a beat up face. They gave it an extra head scan with it. So that's the one I will use. I won't need to use this one again. I, on that other one, I can have the beat up face. I think that's a pretty cool, neat Fish, uh, it's a neat uh, thing to do for collectors. They helped us out with that a little bit, I guess you would say. Um, there was a lot of rumors the Build-A-Figure um, would be black way back in the day. It came out white. And then so now that uh, the rumors were in this new retro release that it was going to be a, in a black suit kingpin. However, they did not do that, as you can see in the pictures. It's the white suit release, again, with the different ascot and stuff like that. Just a little subtle changes. I honestly would have preferred a black suit. I think that would have been pretty cool to have a totally different color for him but beggars can't be choosers and these uh these monthly uh may 1st june 1st every the first of the month hasbro is announcing a new figure in the marvel legends lineup which i think is a cool thing nod to fans gives you something to look forward to um and you don't have to buy these i mean it's not like the build a figure you got to build buy a bunch of them to build them it's just a one-off straight release fan channel exclusive um, you, you could decide if you want it or not. Kind of like the Venom Marvel Legends that just came out. It's the same kind of concept. It was a Build-A-Figure. Now they've released it on a solo card with some paint differences. I will have that figure soon, and I'll uh, probably do an unboxing on that one once it comes in. But well, that's just kind of a Kingpin update, I guess, out there. You know, Let me know in the comments. Are you going to pick up a Kingpin? Do you need a Kingpin in your Marvel Legends set? Um, let me know. Um, besides that, that's it. That's just a really quick update on the Kingpin uh, release coming out. I don't know if I said it or not, but it sounds like that's coming out in uh, early August to mid-August is uh, the plan for that one. I believe the Mysterio might be somewhere around that same time. Some I've seen some say October, but I've also seen some say July. So i got to think it's coming before we'll get the Kingpin. But, you know, we'll see. But, like I said, comment on the video. Let me know your thoughts on the Kingpin. Um, don't forget to like the video and please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I appreciate everybody out there watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.